Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, where last time we trudged through a whole bunch of ship graveyards here. After trudging through a whole bunch of ship graveyards, like somewhere up over here. Yeah, it's been a, a whole salvage bonanza. We have been getting a whole bunch of ships. We've gotten all of our officers from salvage. It's almost like we're a bunch of foundlings, not to make it a Mandalorian thing or anything. It's not obviously the first time that anything's like that been happened, but it seems like this save is being more characterized by what we are found exploring, because uh, if you remember from my last playthrough, previous update, I was having to buy a bunch of ships. It's like, oh look, here's a heron, here's a heron, here's a heron. We just buy a bunch of herons. Uh, this time we have a lot of, uh, a lot of things that we found that work really well. And even like the mules and everything as well just everybody is pulling and doing their part it's very exciting i do have a skill point to attribute here and as i did say last time i've got to think about uh what i'm going to be doing what i'm going to be piloting here i have a 14th uh, fleet legion sitting waiting that i will want to put some of the stuff in but one of the things that i will really want as nice as uh emc package can be fighter uplink is incredibly important especially for if I'm going to be doing a strategy like I like to do by running a lot of fighters. So we're going to um, do that. And once again, if this doesn't work with our strategy, we can always use story points to reassign later. I think that is an excellent um, thing that gives you a little bit of forgiveness in case you make the wrong choice. What is this? That's a sensor array. We're not going to bother with that. But um, the long story short is that in this system we did find, and it's probably better if I did it in the intel here, um, can we just look into the current system? Um, pretty much, I did not actually look at a barren bombarded world and a gas giant. So we have five planets here. The percentages are pretty awful, but the uh, ore supplies are freaking awesome. So there, this is definitely a system to think about. Not a number one choice in terms of like hazard rating, but if you are only looking at systems in Star Sector for hazard rating, you're going to cut yourself out of a lot of potentially really good places. So this one is definitely on the list. Oh my god, my monthly expenses are uh, not happy with me. Oh, by the way, my uh, cargo is a little crazy. I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, we didn't pick up any of those 20,000 some ore that came from that mining station. But yeah, this should this should be okay. Now, I have two yellow star systems that I want to look at, and then we are going to try our best to jump back over to like Yama or uh, this other place, any of the hegemony here, which would be really great if um we ended up doing like let's run this with a bunch of AI cores because it's uh these are rough systems to go on anyway, and uh, then we're right next door to the people that hate the AI cores. Um, we're gonna jump into here. We do have a white dwarf system that's not nearly as inspiring, but look! More remnants! They are hostile and patrolling, even, and it looks like it's a barren world and a barren bombarded world. So after all that hype for everything else, not a lot here. But I'm not really a fan of you guys just coming after me. So um, let's, let's just knock you out. Open a comm link. Omega, Omega. Nope. Move in to engage. We're going to continue, and we're just... I kind of want to um, drop in this ship, but honestly, it's not at full combat readiness, so I don't want to screw with that too badly. But we'll do it anyway. So, 86 supplies. We should get some of them. We should get most of them back. This is... This is not really a necessary move at all. It's just a for fun move because we get to have fun sometimes in this game, perhaps. Also, maybe I want to get myself bound up so I can get a screenshot, perhaps. Alright, so we have our ships firing over here. Let's see if we can get a better screenshot than this, perhaps. That's print screen. That is what I want. Um, look at that! Look at the um, look at the firing going on here. So we have... Um, you're dead already. Alright. Maybe we got it. That seems pretty good. Alright, so... We got some credits. We didn't even get an AI core. And we can't salvage this. Active sensor burst. Not much doing here. 
So I guess we just uh, leave. I guess we just leave. All right. And uh, we have another unidentified entity over here. I think we should just look at Beta Arash. There is a Mock Morid that's possible over here, but I want to make sure that we don't fly too far out. So we're going to kind of leave that out here. A uh, distress call originating from there. I might be able to blast whoever's shipping it, but that's, a, that's another warning beacon. So we're just going to ignore it. Be hilarious if the remnants were like, yeah, it's us. The distress signal is because we want to put you in distress. All right, so apparently whatever feature to fly double speed in space, other people have and I don't have, but that's cool. Because we're just going to fly slow as hell through some nebulas anyway. Actually should really pay attention because it looks like from uh, just my standard flying here. Oh, we've got a beacon in here somewhere. So what's our number one rule of exploration today, kiddos? It's to check the intel, it's to check the bounties, and see if I'm about to walk into a bounty collection situation. There's a pirate base for $50,000. I think we're going to bust that up real quick. Alright, so we'll do the... Uh, there's a few planets here, maybe we can get some surveys in. Our uh, supplies aren't great, but if there is a pirate base, I can always pop in and say, hey, buy their supplies and then take them out, so that's fine. Um, let's see. So we got Toxic World, Rocky Mount, and, uh, so this is, uh, crap. Um, I don't mean crap like, I don't, I'm not trying to hurt the feelings of the star system, but this is not what I want for my yellow star systems. Uh, although we do have a really good system here in Kaddish, it's, the, it's just missing that one checkbox, but... You rarely, and that one checkbox is having two habitable worlds. Technically, that jungle world's habitable, but it's uh, it's got some problems. We're gonna um leave that here. We're just gonna try to casually find a pirate base, and uh, this is a pretty low payout pirate base. Um, we got some sensor contacts down here by the star. I doubt that's the pirate base though. It's probably just a dead ship. Domain error probe. I don't really want to go for it because we are burning through supplies in a hurry. Are we like overstaffed or understocked or something? Yeah. I mean, the the probe would be really nice, but we're not going to do it. Um, will this give us supplies? I don't think it will. Makeshift sensor array. Let's just hack it. All right. So, like, we don't have a ton of supplies to the tune where if I don't get a good haul from here, I may feel uncomfortable enough to um, try to go back. This is only two stars, and we do have two pirate fleets over here, and one of them's trying to pulse us, so that's fun. Let's just say hello to the station. Open the comm directory. You actually... You actually do have an officer for hire. Hey you, what can you do? He's aggressive, he's level one. Combat officer would prefer to engage at a range that allows use of all their ship's weapons. You know what? And you have impact mitigation. Let's hire you. Um, that's fine. Um, dockside bar, carefully approach the angry woman in the expensive suit at a pirate place. Hey, lamb Surax. Um, you need, you want us to get Marines for an operation for a base that we're about to destroy? No, thank you. I find it hilarious that we can sell stuff to pirates on the black market. But Zero Den is a colony with literally a military base and not too much else, but 10 stability. They're doing their best. Um, you know what, let's make some money off these guys. Let's get all this stuff. We could buy a few Marines. If only we had all of the, um, shit to sell. That's single torpedoes. We want reapers though. Auto pulse lasers. I have a few of those. Hammer barrage. I probably want those. All right, so what can we sell? We don't really want to sell a cofish here. We can sell the ludic. Um, we want to learn the automated repair unit. 
sell the food. Screw it, let's sell this. Um, we can sell the survey data because that doesn't do anything in this update as far as I know. And sell this. Sell you. Look at all this money we're going to be rolling in from people that we are about to destroy. So this is... Um, I don't know if we can get this back later. And I guess technically, like, harvested organs. We do want to sell that. Weapons. There are places where we can sell these for a lot more. So we're going to do that. Um, same with the Transplatonic Ore. There are places where we can sell the... Ooh, no, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. Okay, we got to do all this again. Anyway, um, places, there are places we can sell this for a lot more. So, Black Market. How to screw the pirates over. Part 1. We actually found two Class 5 planets. That's exciting. Um, have some food. Have a Class 3. We already know that one. We can sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. Sell the 10 lobster. Enjoy it before you get blown up. Uh, we don't need the ore. I know it only sells for three, but did I just, what was that? Oh, that's um, domestic goods. So they're really happy that they have somebody trading with them because it's just going to make all of their problems go away. We're going to fix their economy. Um, and then we're going to blow them out of the sky because we are space jerks through and through. So confirm there. Do we lose reputation from the pirates by trading on the black market? That is something I'd love to know. Um, hammer repeater, single repeater, light machine gun, talon, broadsword. Actually, I have 12 of those for sale. That's kind of crazy. Um, accelerated shields mod spec. Not too concerned about that today. I love that we have to pay tariffs on this. I could have bought the marines here, I guess. I could buy some crew. I'm not looking to colonize anything right now because I don't have the mind to support a colony. But see, this is what we do. We go through here. We get all this. We actually know the Ludic package. So we're going to abort that sale. And uh, we're going to sell it over here. Hooray. So see, they're, they're not trying to learn some of these things, but they are trying to learn some of the other things. Like we, we taught them how to make Ludic ships, but they already know how to make... Uh, Atlas modified super freight for the pirate design, so they don't really care about that. It's fine. They don't care about the class 5 survey data. That's fine. Um, I think we're good here. Let's go to just see what ships they have for sale. Ooh, a venture. Actually, a Colossus. These are the combat Colossuses, so they don't have much cargo. They actually have worse cargo capacity than some of the other things I bought on the black market. Ooh, these are cute. I really did enjoy flying around in uh, pirate light cruisers or pirate falcons. This is actually a really impressive spaceport. These things are good because they're fast and they got some extra missiles, but most mostly because they're fast. Which kind of sucks that this one has an erratic fuel injector because that directly cuts into um, some of the benefit, but that's fine. There's literally nothing here we want. So consider your military options. We can engage in combat versus all of their stuff. They have their supporting Corsairs. Um, yeah, this should be fun. I was just saying before, you know, we should get in more fights. And it uh, looks like our ships are at 70% combat readiness. Let's do it. Let's blast them out of the sky. We're going to deploy all of our buddies. All of them. Even this Wayfarer that's all the way down here. The only thing we're not deploying is this eagle. So we've got uh, we've got a lot of combat points here. We can only deploy 240. Um, but let's see, how do we want to do this? What I've had some success with before is kind of having a secondary ship that has some other stuff following it. So maybe if I have the heron follow me, you follow me, you guys follow this sub tank. I think this could work and all we're gonna do is just try to play it smart and not get if some if we lose some of our tiny ships to uh, 
the space base. Cool. But we don't want to lose our big guns. Of course, our biggest gun is waiting somewhere else, but let's, let's fly. None of these things should really be causing too many problems for us at this stage. But man, this, this ship looks cool. It really does. It's literally like just festooned with guns. So here's our fleet as, or as disorganized as it is. There's a bunch of fighters that are coming. Once again, I'm taking the uh, frontline roll. Can't actually destroy an asteroid. How am I supposed to destroy a uh, evil base? Got a crap ton of missiles, a crap ton of fighters incoming. So look, they, they did their very best. We just shot, oh my god, that's a lot of lasers. Okay. Gotta actually vent some flux here because we got we got hit pretty hard. We, we pretty much took that whole barrage of bombs though. So once again, this is a competition to see who can outflux who. And uh, we gotta see if we can get this place to uh, get all of its stuff aside. So I don't have expanded missile racks yet, so I kind of got to be responsible about this. Let's see, can we fire on you? This is it's gonna be our laser boat again. Okay, so let's back it up. Vent the flux. You're overloaded, so you're probably dead. We, I guess this is a crime not paying, though, so. Sunder. Not doing, not doing its best. Okay, this is, this is a bit of a risky maneuver. Let's see if we can get some missiles over here. Not really. All right, so we got a lot of incoming fire. So I gotta watch my flux. This is once again where we take the engagement and back off. But so far we're holding a pretty good line. We're not, we're not outright getting destroyed. We just need to do some damn damage. Okay, so that guy's in trouble. My uh, flux is in trouble. I did just take a, a direct hit with a missile. Okay, two direct hits with a missile. What's uh, combat damage anyway, right? Just a badge of honor. Okay, gotta watch out for uh, all of these bombs. Alright. Like I said, when you see him coming, that's fine. But I think this is going this is going alright. Like I'm really happy with how that's doing as a support ship, for example. Okay, can we actually make this work today? Maybe. Okay, we'll we'll eat these we'll eat these hits for a little bit. Alright, so once again, we just gotta, um, outflux things. Okay, and shields up, because here comes the next fighter barrage. That's a shit ton of bombs. Wow, we, uh, barely survived that. Not barely survived, but we barely didn't overload. But once again, we took the shot. So, can we, like, have you go after this guy? I think that'd be really helpful. I gotta watch my broadside here. Could have done better with those missiles. But good, you're gone. I'm in trouble. Okay, if I lose another Apogee, I'm not gonna be very happy here. And that's a shit ton of bombs. Save me! Save me, guys! Alright. Yeah, I, another Apogee. That's that's my street rep now. All right. So Apogee, go after here. 
I've got to I've got to stay in the back a little more now. Okay, so decent start. Okay, how many missiles of these do I have? Okay, we got we got a few dudes that are retreating. Do we just start going after the base? And we lost we just lost a wolf. Okay, that was that was some pretty bad shooting there on my end. Alright, so we're we should not be losing the space station right now. Okay, we, we get downed another one. Okay, shields up. It's a lot of bullets. All right. Okay, definitely don't want to be in range of all that shit. So maybe we just go after the uh, star base here in a minute. Cuz that one's uh, surprisingly well supported. And we're not doing a ton of damage on this guy. Here comes the fighters from hell again. And like that can that can cause a lot of problems for me. This fight's slowly drifting to the right, and I like that. So if we can just get up here, you tank me, you tank for me. And we kind of try to get around here, then hopefully we can push back in. This is, this is a long fight. This would be where having another eagle would be pretty nice. Okay, we should be in range for you. Okay, you're auto firing. Gotta watch our flux. Gotta watch what's incoming. Okay, we lost a wayfarer. We're getting fluxed pretty hard. So back it up. And vent. So we are just hanging out out of range. Good. This is exactly what we wanted. So we've actually taken out most of the base's support, and now it's about time to uh, hopefully not get killed. Wow, you're so close to dying. Okay, you're dead. You're going to be dead. We're gonna we're gonna try to go hard here. Maybe a little too hard. Fuck. 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 All right, don't die. Don't die. All right. So full assault on this. Okay. And fortunately, we're not getting hit by lasers right now. All right, that was uh, very lucky that we did not just outright lose the lose the flagship right here. Um, our poor shepherd, on the other hand, is a holy cow. Look at you go! All right, we gotta we gotta we gotta get in here, do some damage. Not like that, maybe. Okay, I'm probably dead. 
Shields up, please. Alright. So we're gonna see if the rest of my crew can do this, because clearly... The moment these guys get on me hard... I've just gotta kinda stay out of the fight. I am just about dead. Alright, but if we can get all you guys on here, that would be lovely. Because it looks like right here we're doing some work. We're not dead yet. We're just not really alive either. AI's doing a great job piloting though. Uh, kudos there. I really like how this ship's doing. Like, it's super mobile. If I get taken out by fighters, that's going to be really embarrassing, though. Um, my crime strike's destroyed. So uh, we'll see how um, our other ships here are doing in just a minute. I'd love to get in here on just a little bit of missile support. You guys are doing your best, though. It's a pretty ambitious... Your flagship's combat readiness is starting to dissipate. Alright. That's a shit ton of guns. Okay, I'm in I'm bad at this game. I've gotta hope that these do not kill me outright. Okay. I think I retreat with the flagship and send you guys over onto here. Cause I think we can take this down with what we got. If the AI is uh, a little better at this game than I am. So we're going to try to uh, transfer command and maybe I take over like the hammerhead or something, so... Mercy me though, we got, we got fighters coming to get me. Really hard. Like I said, that's a, that's a shit ton of bombs. Alright, so now let's get myself out of here. Sometimes you've just gotta live to fight another day. Cause I think we have what it takes to put pressure on this. I have fulfilled my duty as main tank and I have no healer. Like we've uh I don't know if that hammerhead's down or hurting. We have a dominator here. We have all you guys. It's a lot to take on. Like, if we had... Okay. So I'm retreating. And now things are... Um, a little bit different here. I should be able to do just a free view. Like if we're looking over here, it's at 73% um, hull. And uh, we do want to try to eliminate, but... I, I guess I can transfer command to one of these. Oh boy, this is this is something where I should know. Show video feed, perhaps. There we go. That's probably the button we want. All right, so now we're just doing commentary, commentary. Where um, this ship has some really terrible weapons. You know what? Um, 
I've lost a few ships. Maybe it is... Maybe it's time to call it. Let's... Can I pause this, please? I don't have a lot of firepower left. Maybe it is time to do a full retreat. Alright, so let's do a full retreat. I think that's probably better. If we just try to get out of here. I'd rather not lose, like, this ship I might be losing. Just because it's stupidly standing in the fire. Like, yeah. That's, that's a little bit of a problem. So I do like that ship, but I don't think it's going to, like, full-on survive. Which sucks a little bit, but at least we know what to look for. Like, Apogee, Apogee's standing around like an idiot. Please just retreat. So the Aurora's gone. Push a little too hard on the pirates, but that is okay. That's just part of the name of the game here, where... You gotta, you gotta play, you gotta learn, even though there's some things that we know. The Apogee should be able to get out of here. Kinda would really like 42. Should be out of the fighter's range here in just a minute. Okay, well that was fascinating. So we're, we're officially out, right? All right, so they don't like us. We didn't win. We can't actually recover. These guys uh, ran away, so disabled or destroyed. We lost. The thing that sucks is that we lost the Aurora that we just got, but most of uh, what we lost, we lost the Hammerhead, we lost the Shrike. Um, so we're going to go back. We're just going to um, leave here. So see, it's now like times three. Our fleet's a lot smaller now, not nearly as impressive as it was, but we still have our big cargo capacity. We still have a Falcon. We're doing we're doing okay. I can't I can't get too upset about losing stuff here, so I think it's probably for the best. Well we're burning less fuel. Maybe we'd go check out Mach Mred anyway. Um like these fleets are all here. There's a derelict buffalo just over here. Can we, uh, let's consider whether we want to salvage it. We don't want to salvage that. All right, so. You guys are all running from us now, and we're running from you too. And you're actually, you're near a jump point, aren't you? So pirate raid failed. Preparing for a patrol duty. Probably better if we just go this way. I mean, one of the things is that we're going to lose a lot of supplies by um, doing that. But this is this is part of the interesting point of the game where you have shit happen. We did bite off more than we could chew. We have another pirate patrol that's on our butts now. Um, we don't have a ton of supplies here, so... We had a really good upshot. We had a really good look at all my things, and... Um, the fort, we're very fortunate to leave with two Apogees, and uh, we can get this back, we can get this online. Um, losing the Aurora stinks, but it may be time to bring out the Legion. Anyway, we have quite a bit of money. It's interesting. If, I, if, if we had a better pilot, um, if I had not engaged that base with the other supporting forces there, I probably would have been able to take that. But once again, that's a bounty for uh, only 50,000. And that was a uh, ridiculous pirate base. So this is 11 days at base burn level. We just don't have... We, I, I kind of want to see what's at Mach Morad, but we honestly don't have the supplies for it. So let's go over to... Um, Well, really, we can go to any of these places because we sold a lot of goods to the pirates. So let's go here. And hopefully not get blasted out of the rest of space. 
because we've got a lot of repairs we've got to do, especially now that we hit another hyperspace storm. Yeah, and that's one of those things where just the loadout of that pirate base was amazing. But at the same time, it's like the AI sitting there trying to take it, he did a really good job for a long time. I should have just had him retreat when I retreated, but I thought maybe, maybe I could just make it through. But that's Star Sector. You, you get ships, you lose ships. I think we actually have another commanding officer that we can... We have two commanding officers that we could seat. We'll put one in the Eagle. And we will put one over here. Raise the skill to Elite now. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here. Mentor and Officer increasing ability. Requires a story point and grants 100% experience. We're not going to do that. But look, we, we rescued you from a life of piracy and then got nearly killed by your former employers. So, yeah, we are, um, we are burning through these supplies hard. But it's all, it's all good. Because at the end of the day, we are still alive. We have quite a bit of money. We're about to get to a space station. If we had destroyed that pirate base, obviously we'd have more, but we didn't. And that's one of the things where the Apogee is a really good exploration ship, um, but it needs to be backed up by some other firepower. All right, so these, that's kind of far, that's kind of in a new direction that we haven't been. I'm gonna see if we can find better. For now, we've got to um, we've got a day to get to somewhere safe, like here. Look, guys, we made it, and there's uh, another fleet. So let's get to Yama. Oh, look, you guys are just bumping now. But yeah, we <laughs> we barely made it out with the. Uh, the skin on our back, if that's the word for it. Unidentified fleet engaged in battle with the station. Um, I don't, I'm not really comfortable with you guys losing to that station fight. But I'm also not comfortable with um, my people starving. So while y'all are here and fighting, we have another officer available for hire. What can you do? She's aggressive. She has energy weapon mastery. Um... I'm going to end that conversation for the moment. By the bar, we have a man with a paper book. See what he wants. Good to see you again. Oh, it's the same guy from before. Um, possible leads on the heavy blaster. We don't, we're not really interested in that. Good luck for promising leads at a $20,000 donation would let him go. This is our historian from Starter Gamer. Something interesting, but not of immediate import. Let's see what 20000 does. All right. The story tells you about something. It doesn't tell us anything. So we just gave him 20,000 for nothing. Oh, Infernium. Yes, yes. A bit of ludic vernacular. All right. So I guess we just paid him. We just got ripped off. Um, but we only needed two supplies for the repair. So that's, that's great. We're under crew strength now. Which is uh, exciting because we have no supplies and we lost a bunch of people. All right, so we have got to use a lot of money to go here, to go here. Maybe I don't need to buy that many, but we're going to anyway. Um, and we're going to do some better sales for some of the stuff than maybe what I had done before. I need to drop off uh, some other stuff as well. So what's on the open market here? 240 supplies. Is there a place where supplies are cheap? Yeah, there's a few. Some places where supplies are incredibly expensive as well. Um, Chico Motztac is uh, in the Atslan star system is pretty close and has cheaper supplies. Cheaper enough to matter, maybe. But we're going to do this anyway. Um, buy your fuel on the up and up as well. 
by the way, anything to buy. They do have a Falcon 14 with one D mod. That D mod is damage weapons mounts. And it has a slightly lower top speed. Hmm. Too small energy. I'm not I'm not entirely sure if that's where we want to be putting our money right now. A Dominator might be doing better. I think what probably we need to do is to start working towards getting the Legion online. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Um, we're gonna sell we're gonna sell these where there's profit. So uh, looks like uh, Kuor is what we want to do there. Uh, As Ascania is pretty good. Ascania is pretty good. Ascania is pretty good for selling this. Um, we can give away the uh, other stuff at other places. So yeah, that's a um, that's a start. Also, just curious, what did they have on the black market here? An another a Falcon Pirate. So that's a uh, that's pretty exciting. It takes 105 supplies to repair that because we have uh, this buddy over here. Which, if we refit you, we'll just do the auto fit for now for assault. Um, not the best, but graviton beams, heavy blasters, Sabat SRMs are fine. Lots of little guns. I do need to run the update still because the thumper uh, is is kind of a thing. But like I said I'd love to get another. I'd love to get another light carrier, but I think. I'm getting a little nervous because that pirate's gonna disengage and go right after me. So let's let's get out of here. Let's go to Atslan. No, let's not go to Atslan. Let's go to Ascania. That's good. And then we can pop back over. You know what? Uh Durzak and uh Penelope Star might be potential places for a colony as well. They're unclaimed, there's nobody there. We don't have to worry about getting glassed. We could pop in and see if there's anything to survey as well. Um, that could that could work out, but we're gonna um, we're gonna try to make a little bit more of a profit here. As once again, I just love that we did business while they're fighting with pirate raiders that clearly have no chance. And uh, we're losing money per month again already. Once we get the legion out of the garage, we're gonna be losing a lot more money. But. I think the apogees are going to be really good as kind of a side support for a legion that um, is leading the charge. And this is where I said before I want to I want to do ship combat and things like that. And you got to pick your battles really well. And I this is a great example of not picking your battles very well. I was a little cautious earlier. I was very cautious last episode. And um, this time I got burned hard. But these guys don't hate us. So we should be able to uh, get some reputation just by doing some trade with them right now. And maybe get some interesting contracts that will take us to interesting places in space. Alright, so where are you guys going? You're just, you're just merchants trading everywhere. It's really interesting too that so far... Um, well, I think last time I just had like a ton of luck finding what I was looking for in terms of colonies. This time I'm having tons of luck finding ships, even if some of them are getting destroyed. Um, that's oh, we actually need to be at a com relay to do this. That's that's a lot of new available missions. That's a little far, but these are next to each other. So maybe maybe we go southwest. Uh, we have some yellow stars that we can visit over here as well. Let's accept these. Domain era probe, domain era survey ship. Um, that's on the other side. Barren world's on the other side. That's a little far away. But we do know that uh, one of the big sails is over in here. And then we can do our kind of our first run to the uh, corner of space. So since we're over here and since we're getting thoroughly cooked, let's take a moment to check our sensor readings to say that we want to sell the heavy armaments 
um, over up above and we want to sell the transplutonics um, they still have a demand for a thousand and we got plenty of those Not right here all right so we'll take the speed boost <coughs> apologies for the cough um, dockside bar woman who was ordered a cadet to talk to the woman who ordered the cadet to apprehend you um, this is interesting story take a shuttle down you enter the bar uh, leaving a no uh, noise some propaganda broadcast through of the throughway behind off-duty laborers drink away their ration credits dutifully a bitch is set beneath the decat insignia on the corner of the charade or karad a finely dressed officer bureaucrats call for another round even here a larger than life hollow of line of uh, sandria looks down on you as to decide what to do a nervous cat holding a drink approaches you um and says my uh, i mean the woman over there wants a word the cadet glances at the dark corner of the bar and over here we have uh Nagasi Spears, who wants us to take a flash uh, task force with 150 Marines. That's that's not our bag. It's really not. Um, illegal to trade on the open market. Well, let's piss off some neighbors. Right? I mean, we can we can sell these on the military market, but we're gonna do this over here. I still need to drop these off, but we'll do that when we uh, do the other thing. Let's see. You guys have a lot of fuel. And you guys do have quite a few supplies. Do you have any interesting ships for sale? You have a you have a conquest on the open market. Hmm. It's two D mods. I do like a conquest. And it's um, ships will appear like this on the open market. Not all the time. I don't want to get one with degraded shields and damaged life support, but there's worse there's worse opportunities there um, we could try to sell some stuff to get that but um, Griffin missile carrier all of these things um, it's just it's just interesting that we're over here I was looking desperately for a conquest to appear on the open market or the black market last time and it didn't really work like I said that's not my goal that's not my goal here um, supplies 87 per unit this is one of the cheaper places to get them so let's let's buy these on the up and up. I think probably 500's fine. And then um, local fuel deficit. Okay, so we're not buying our fuel from here, I guess. Fascinating. So there must be a um, oh best places to buy. Okay, so this is this is apparently good. Um, so let's get. 475 500 supplies let's um fill up our gas tank we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time we can drop off these cores at a uh, tri on at any time but we are we're about to do some shit that's that's for sure so hopefully they won't mind a little bit of black market trading and this is one of those interesting places where they have three different planets so let's go over here hopefully we're not going to get picketed doesn't look like it but yeah we have uh, definitely another place to go which is good but before we but before we go on a distant voyage or maybe we'll, we'll see how the legion's doing or how we can equip the legion that's a derelict atlas super freighter Sure, I will happily um, take a look at that. Um, okay, this low tech has a not as high cargo capacity. I don't think I'm going to take it. I mean, if we look at it again, that is a maximum burn of five. We would need an ox tug. So that's not happening. All right. So you guys are all having a good time. Pirates going dark. Pirate smuggler going dark. Here we go. A woman buys us a drink. I know the location of Perdition Wing Blueprint, so you could for the price, or so could you for the price of 10,000 credits. Just hop over to your fleet and take it. Perdition Wing. I feel like I should know what that is, but for 10,000 credits, sure, why not? Um, 
you're a pirate, so that's fine. And the Zatabon system or whatever. I mean, it's it's blueprints. Hooray, blueprints. We like it. Um, as for selling here, we're going to um, sell on the black market for maximum profits because we're jerks in space. And um, we have a lot of goodies here. Like, I could sell one of these. We could definitely sell one of these if we wanted to get a conquest. But the thing is, is that I already have another ship in mind. This is mainly just to clear cargo room. Because that's going to be important. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher with more Star Sector. It's been a ride. That's for sure. Our fleet is intact. We have a lot of ships that we found. Rip the uh, ship that we lost that was new. And it, it looked really cool in combat too. Um, and rip to our other early sort of backbone force. Um, I, I'm going to see if I want to drag that Legion all the way across space with me. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But we're going to cover that for another day. So hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Lament my inability to drive off the pirates before taking on the space station and in my hubris thinking that I could do everything at once. Got taught my lesson. $50,000 pirate space station. Bad business. But we'll do this again soon. Take care.